I think the right question is not how to be a citizen or what it means to be a citizen, but what is a new social contract in the digital age, or at least in this current moment. Understanding what the social contract looks like, how it's changing from the perspective of citizens, uh, is, I think, a deeply meaningful question. It goes well beyond Facebook. Uh, it goes well beyond social media. Is the, right of, is the rise of big tech accelerating the social, political, and economic crisis that we live, or is it giving some hope or some positive answers? Data processes, data infrastructures have also been deeply disempowering. Right? So data is the key tool. In fact, it's a weapon that um, those in power use to disenfranchise citizens, particularly those that are already marginalized. But we're going to start talking about what people really need. Affordable housing, uh, sustainable mobility, more public space, more education. And only after, we're going to ask how can technology and data, if governed in a democratic way that puts citizens right at the center, help us to tackle these big challenges that we have. The one downside of cities like Barcelona is that we tend to forget that there are equal, perhaps not in the same uh, level, but there is innovation happening in the global south as well. My problem with all the debate, you know, regarding regulation around antitrust, which obviously I think it's needed and it is good, uh, but probably not enough. I mean, maybe you have to regain democratic control over this infrastructure and have your own industrial policy and be ambitious and then say, okay, let's agree maybe globally on the kind of standards and the kind of rules and, and, try, you know, and try to govern this situation. Industrial strategy needs to think about how it deals with um, cities and how it deals with informal cities.